sure you are in your safe place now. That is under something sturdy, a basement if possible, if not that, on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Try to be out of a mobile home. Try to be out of a place like a gym or a theater. I don't know why this is Bowling Green, Kentucky, though. It's actually out of hazard. Young's Creek by 9 o'clock, Walden 907. If this holds together, if this holds together, you're not in the warning now, but Williamsburg by 915. If this holds together, that's Gaydon by 919, Burn by 923, Packard as we close in on 930, and Siler as we close in. Shut up, Jackson. So we are dealing with two tornado warning cells right now, moving through southern Laurel County, far northern parts of. Whitley County, far northern parts of McCreary County, and far southeastern parts of Pulaski County. Here's one cell just cross, or one uh, circulation, I should say, just crossing Highway 27. Here's the other circulation that's getting close, uh, closer and closer, I should say, to downtown Corbin before too long. Now, both of these have broadened out a little bit. They had a little bit more sharply defined uh, circulation just a minute ago. We will continue to watch these as they push off to the east and southeast at about 35 miles per hour. Yeah, and I would say no one should be driving right now on I-75, so if you know it, Okay, sorry, that was my laptop. I pulled it back up. Um, yeah, no one should be driving right now on I-75 between, I would say, London and Williamsburg, Port Lethe's Memphis Complex, a storm passed by. So if you know anyone that may be driving right now, and is not aware of these tornado warnings, be sure to just call them and let them know, give them a heads up, to pull off the road. You don't want to be in a car and you don't want to be in a mobile home. Those are the two places you do not want to be during a tornado warning. So you want to find more substantial shelter. That is the lowest floor if you have it. If you don't have a basement, that's okay. Just be sure that you are on the lowest floor. Put as many walls between you and the outside as possible and be sure to stay away from those windows and if you have a helmet, we ask that everyone put a helmet on. That can be a sporting helmet, a bicycle helmet, any kind of helmet that will help to protect your head from flying debris if this is a tornado on the ground. Now, the good news is we're not looking oh, at... Oh, it's definitely not a tornado on the ground because I don't see a purple polygon. It's red. It's radar indicated. Both look like they have really come down in intensity over the last little bit. Yeah, I agree with that. It's all radar indicated stuff. It's not on the ground. I don't see no hook. Seriously, and be sure to get to your safe place right now. I'll pull up the, the warnings once again. It's kind of hard to see, but if you are in southern Laurel County, if you are in northwestern Knox County, northern Whitley, northern McCreary, and southern Pulaski, be sure to get to your safe place because every, all of you guys are under a tornado warning. And I think both of these go until 9 o'clock. Let me double check. And make the one, sure. yeah, yes. That's 9 and one. Okay, Pulaski. <laughs> Knox, Laurel, Pulaski, Whitley, 9 o'clock. So those okay. both will run uh, through the top of the hour. Awesome. So, yeah, so just so for the next um, 20 minutes or so, be sure to just take these seriously and get to your safe place. By Let these storms pass by until you get out on the road because this is a dangerous situation. And let's go back, look at the second storm. This one has kind of broadened out really well over the past little bit. You see here over the mm -hmm. Pulaski and McCreary County line near Bower. Um, mm -hmm. I was going to say, there's still some broad rotation yeah. there, but it is not nearly as tight yeah. as the one we're dealing with here, Corbin, right now. And uh, let me see if I can, we can pull up London Corbin Airport. I wonder okay. what their vantage point on this is going to be um, right there. But you can see there's the second circulation. They need to fix it. Behind. It's not Bowling Green. Cross now. Uh, that is just crossing the border between Pulaski it's hazard. and County. That's a great shot. Not seeing much in terms of any kind of stormy weather, but you can kind of see... Um, so I just was talking to my director there, but that is going to come very close to the Cumberland Gap Parkway, um, south of Dorothy, right along I-75. That looks like, there's the I-75 camera, that is the, one of the exits uh, there uh, in London. Uh, so just some heavy rain with that storm. Uh, and then there's the Corbin camera. You can't really see much of the sky there. You can see how dark it is. Um, and we are getting close to sunset, but also with the... Uh, a very uh, intense rain with this storm. I'm looking at the, I've got the, <coughs> excuse me, 
I guess correlation coefficient up here on another screen, and I'm not seeing anything. Dude, the guy's choking because he doesn't know what he's talking about, because there's obviously not a tornado on the ground. It's just radar indicated stuff. Parts of Laurel County. Basically, this is going to be coming right down the center of this border right here. As you cross from Laurel into Whitley County along Interstate 75, no one should be traveling on Interstate 75 right now between London and Corbin, and definitely between London and Williamsburg, or Corbin and Williamsburg right now, because we've got this circulation traveling across the interstate. From what we've seen on radar, this doesn't look like we have a tornado on the ground. However, that doesn't mean it can't quickly tighten up, spin up, drop a tornado, and lift before we get the next radar scan. So that's why we have to keep these things very close and watch them very closely. Here's downtown Corbin. Here's North Corbin. That circulation, this whole mass, is continuing to push to the east of Pulaski yeah, I'm County, Northern again. McCreary County, Northern Whitley County. Well, they finally fixed it. Williamsburg, but if this holds together, this could impact downtown Williamsburg down the line. Should this hold together, though this cell that we got the warning out for this particular storm appears to be coming down in intensity. Either way, we want to make sure you stay in. Yeah, totally hazards Bowling Green, according to local news people. Here's this particular storm. Other tornado warning, Southern Laurel in the northern Freaking Boston, weirdos. And into Western Knox, and that'll be coming very close to downtown Corp. Yeah, let's put on a track. We haven't done that in a little bit, but we can get, if you're just now joining us, uh, we'll do the first storm first. It is just near Corbin, moving all towards the southeast at 35, and it's going to show some communities that are not included in the warning. But, uh, if you are in Corbin, it's on top of you right now. If you were in Moore Hill, you got about one or two minutes, so be sure to go to your safe place immediately. If you are in Rossland, 902, Barberville, you are not included in the warning, but if it's extended, then you probably will be. Freaking weirdos. On this, it will be in your area around 914, so that's the warning expires at 9 o'clock, so we will keep an eye on that and see what the National Weather Service wants to do. Now let's go back to the second storm. And we'll put that off towards the southeast at, as well at 35. You got Walden at 911 Williamsburg. You are not in the warning, but if it holds together, it's kind of like Barberville. Just keep an eye on it because if we do have a reissuance of a tornado warning, you'll probably be in that one. So it'll be in your neck of the woods around 917 and around Packard at 930. Pearl at 941 and Clearfield. It's the same if it holds together around 947. As this mass of storms pushes off towards the south and east. Now, I will say earlier, these storms were kind of uh, by themselves. Now they're kind of congealing into a line. And I think now they're kind of transitioning into more of a damaging wind and flooding threat. I don't know if you agree with that, Evan, but. No, I, I, definitely, yeah. I definitely see that. Uh, the, the rotation in both of those storms has really started to broaden out over the last little bit. The one near Corbin, though, that still has my attention at this time. Uh, you see that's right on top of North Corbin. That's going to be coming down 25E for the Gray community. That's in Western Knox County over the next little bit. That's why Western Knox County remains in the tornado warning. So here's our circulation. We're moving away from the radar at Jackson. We're moving toward the radar at Jackson. There's US 25E. Here's the community of Gray. 